All right, so uh, let's pick up from where we left off. We need to go and take the GOAT exam. G-O-A-T. But I'm curious. I don't know if there's any point in me taking things right now. I imagine that in the future there would be because I could then sell it. Look at all these things. Potential weapons. <laughs> Probably not. Probably no purpose in me doing that, but... Stanley. I'm worried. <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at me soon. Okay. What about the lockers? Oh, empty. Oh, okay, look. So we can store things if we want. We've got the, uh... All the things that we've gone ahead and borrowed. Which is cool. We have a stim pack. That's actually a real thing that can be useful. Increase our HP by 49. Okay. What about this one? You stupid tunnel snakes. Oh, tunnel snakes! That's what's going on. Hey, 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 sport! It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. Let's go into the show. It's the big goat day today, right? It is the big goat day. What is it now, sir? I think you're special because your daddy is the overseer. She's nothing but. Are they picking on her? Daddy's girl. Oh, look who it is! It's Wally, Paul, and Butch. What's the matter? Daddy's girl gonna cry? Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? <laughs> I have a feeling he's not really gonna listen. But, uh... We'll see. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Tell her, Butch. Get away from me! Yeah? What do you want? How about you grow a None pair? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? <laughs> Aren't we literally the same age? Speech 55%. Uh... Oh, okay. So maybe that's a chance of this actually being successful? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down like in your I'm gang. Like I'm going to listen to a little uh -oh. shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. <laughs> and who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. Why does he keep calling me boy? Butch, You've come on. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs oh, another God. lesson. What have we done? We stop it! Oh. Leave what him do we do? Huh? Oh yeah! Give him another one! Give him another one! Please! Hey, stop! Oh, we're gonna get, oh, we're gonna get our ass hit. kicked, I think. Hit him again! This isn't so get him, guys! Anything. Guys! Didn't you just Please stop! This is not bad. Come on, Maybe the dad will stick up for me. Hey, I've gained karma! Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. Have some lunch later on? All right. Sure thing. How about I think that may have actually worked. How do I put my weapons away? <laughs> and by weapons, I mean my guns. Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. You too. Okay. Well, I guess we could have blocked as well. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Um, yeah. Let's do it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start <laughs> as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good it's my kind of test. You don't want to be the first class in history to fail the goat, do you? How could you fail? Like, he just said, there's no wrong answers. So... Anything on your desk? Any Pip-Boys lying around? Or a little bobbleheads, I should say? Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, 
I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Uh, my response would be, don't do that. I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. <laughs> uh, grab a nearby pipe, say nothing and slip away. Yeah, up yours too, buddy. I'm guessing these are kind of going to lead to some character traits, like maybe being more aggressive. Um, grab a nearby pipe, so like strength and melee weapons or something like that. And say nothing but slip away before this. So like kind of sneaky. I think I'm going to go science because I'm pretty smart. My intelligence is good. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Well, um, probably amputate the foot before it spreads. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault, hungry and frightened, but he stole something. He's young, so you can't go hard on him. Leave the boy there as punishment. Pick up the boy's pocket, or pick the boy's pocket and take the stolen property for yourself. Leave him to his fate. Oh, this is our chance to be nice or not. Turn him into the overseer. These are all kind of bad. Question four. Let's be nice to the kid. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? The pitcher, obviously. Yeah, here we go. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Um, I don't think that's a good idea. Off your most prized possession for the resident's life, ask Granny for a minigun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Kill the resident with the pistol? No. Off your most prized possession. Ask Granny for a minigun. I'm just going to say no thanks, Granny. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Well, we just use a bobby pin to pick the lock, I think. Go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, shoot it off, trade a vault hoodlum for his cherry bomb and blow the door open, walk away, let the old coot rock. Rot. <laughs> Uh, we'll try and pick it. Question seven. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation. And a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Honestly, that's a great question. Radiation, mutated hand out of the stomach, large doses of an anti-mutagen agent, a bullet to the brain, I probably. Uh, prayer, maybe God will spare your life in exchange for a life of... Or spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion. Let's remove it with a precision laser. Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number 1. You want it. I What's do want it. way to obtain it? <laughs> we sneak in and we steal it. Uh, we could trade. We could steal it at gunpoint. Sneak into the resident's quarters and steal the comic book from his desk. Slip some knockout drops into the resident's Nuka Cola. Take the comic book when he's unconscious. That's cool, too. Uh, but I would probably do it the old fashioned way. If I really needed it, I would just sneak in and steal it from the desk. Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and. Hmm. What would I do as a prank on my father? Probably nothing, because he would kick my ass. Um. Loosen the bolts on some pipes. When the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. That's a little bit extreme. Firecracker in the toilet, sure to cause some chaos. Break into the locked medicine cabinet and replaces high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. Mm. Manipulate the power wattage on his razor so he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. Let's firecracker in the toilet. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. This has to be the Overseer. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, let's pick the third Overseer. 
Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Uh-oh. All right, well, take my test, I guess. It says here you're perfectly suited for a career as a waste management specialist. A what? specialist, mind you, not just a dabbler. Congratulations. Well, shit. Are you serious? <laughs> that can't be, no, this is not good. That can't be good. At least I am a specialist. If I'm gonna be in a field, I wanna be at the top of the field. God damn it. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. Look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If yeah, you don't I've noticed. Like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Oh, I like this guy. Absolutely. Okay, so how does this work? Wait. Now, the explosive... So, wait. <laughs> These are three... Oh, so we pick three skills? And then they actually rank them up. Okay. I see how this works. So we've got bartering, we've got big guns, we've got energy weapons, we've got explosives, lockpicks, medicine. We actually have a good um, amount of points in medicine already. So that's kind of cool. Um, wouldn't it just make sense to do the ones that I have, like medicine? Because it'll just boost it that much already. Repair. Science. What do these do? Repair. Um, maintain any weapons and apparel. Okay. And then if you make any custom weapons, they start out in better condition. Science is for hacking restricted computer terminals. I definitely like that a lot. Speech, though, is kind of interesting because this governs how much influence someone has through dialogue. I want that. And I guess I probably needed a higher charisma to get more speech, right? But that's a pretty nice build-up. I don't know that I need to go into medicine a lot. Medi uh, the medis uh, medicine. The medicine skill determines how many hit points you'll replenish upon using a stim pack and the effectiveness of Radex and Radaway. Um, I think I'm definitely going to stick with speech. I don't know that I need repair either, though. Like... See, my thing is, I like to have access to as many things as possible. And what I mean by that is, if there's a locked door, I want in. If there is a person that I need to, like, talk to, to be able to get past something, I want to get past it. If I want to be able to get into a computer, I want to be able to get into the computer. So I think I'm going to actually go with lockpicking, science, and speech. That seems the coolest to me. Uh, sneaking probably is good as well. You must be able to upgrade these later, too. So I'm hoping that this doesn't cause too much craziness. The higher your sneak skill, the easier it is to remain undetected, steal an item, or pick someone's pocket. Successfully attacking while undetected grants an automatic critical hit. Oh, that's good to know. I like lockpick science and speech for now. Um, weapons probably important. But, uh, yeah. I, this is really cool of him to do this. That's really cool that he did that. I've got other things. Oh, this is Christine Kendall. This is the girl we could have teased Amada Hello, about. Mr. Brach. Hi, I hope I did okay. Why are you talking to me? Nothing for you to worry about, Ms. Oh. Motivar. Sorry, see. I didn't know that everybody was an asshole in here. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. Hey. See you tomorrow. High five. Get out of my face. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back Thank off. God, that's over. Yo, teach. Come on. Let's I'm go done. get some lunch. Yeah, let's do it. We don't need these guys. Whoa. Come on. What You've got to wake up. What's going on here? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. Uh, what? 
He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Okay. I thought you nobody could leave the vault. I thought so too, but it's true. He's gone, and Jonas is dead, and now they're looking what? for you. What do you mean? Who killed this guy? I don't know. Some of my father's men. Look, the overseers that doesn't guys matter this? right now. You need to worry about getting out of here alive. Revenge will have to wait. Okay, so... How did you get here before oh, everybody else? so you don't trust me now? Thanks a no, lot. No, I do trust you. You think it was easy for me to get here with the rad roaches and security all over the place? Okay. I understand. It, it must be rough waking up suddenly to find your dad gone and everything turned upside down. Listen, it may not be any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you anything about his plans? Honestly, no, he didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. And how do we plan on doing this? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Bobby pins. See, just like that, our skills are already coming into play. What makes you think the tunnel won't be guarded? We don't have time for this! Trust me, security doesn't know about the tunnel. Just my father, and me. Maybe this pistol I stole from my father will make you feel better. Go ahead, take it, and then let's get out of here. Oh god, so we're gonna have weapons now? Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! Okay. I'll meet so, you if I can, but don't wait for me. Hey, this could actually be good. Let's take our BB gun, pellets. Don't know that we need any of those. Is there anything else that we need before we actually leave our room? Uh, yeah, I should take these things. Our jumpsuit, utility jumpsuit, which gives a uh, lockpick and repair. That's cool. Now, if I want to actually use them, the current one is melee weapons and speech, but maybe lockpick for this scenario. There he is. Hold it right there. Whoa, there what? More roaches. Damn it. Get it off me. Is this a, can I sneak by these guys or what? That was probably our chance. Oh god. You like that, you bastard? Are you serious? I'm out of here. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Are you serious? Butch, of course. Oh my god. My morals! Okay, I'm gonna go no, help. I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. And there's rat roaches. I'll go get him out. You're scared of the dark? We don't need to call you out on that right oh now, Butch. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best. Yeah, I know. There he is. How do I help? Where is she? Stop it. Whoa! Yeah. How do I get my gun? Oh my god, this is so bad. I don't even know how to use our weapons. Uh, pistol. Okay, first of all, this guy, he's got to go down. Here we go. Now let's just shoot for the head. Oh, there, that's how we queue it up. Okay, let's... Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh! Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. And I guess we could queue up multiple... I'm probably wasting bullets here, though. 
Let's switch to the uh, the BB gun. Now sometimes, oh there, the percentages are showing. Come on. This is not working well. I guess we just go for the head? Can I switch over to this one? Okay. There's one down. Now how long does it take for the points to regenerate? My god, this is painful. There we go. Whew. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. Where did those... Thanks for the Tunnel Snakes from? jacket. Oh, I need another drink. Oh. Nope. More jumpsuits? I don't think I need any more jumpsuits, to be quite honest. Oh, this could actually be beneficial. Security helmets. Because that'll give us a little bit more armor in case somebody else attacks us, right? Let's see. Security helmet, let's wear. And the armor. So, da I guess DR is damage reduction. And then... Yeah, we just don't have the lock picking anymore. Come on, sit down and have a drink with me. I don't think this is the time for that, to be quite honest. The rat roach infestation is under control. Do not interfere with vault security personnel. Okay, now this is back where we started, is it not? Is this Hey! Look at this. Damage resistance, stim packs, that's a lot too. I'm a bit... Let's just follow our way out of here because... Clearly going back to where we came from isn't a great idea. Look at this disaster. Grandma Taylor's oh. down. Okay, let's get our baseball bat ready here. Or maybe even the police baton. Yeah, it actually does... Oh no, the baseball bat does more damage. Okay. Oh, that's smart. Whoa! Oh! Oh, this works really good. What do you mean? Yeah, it's necessary. You're the one everybody's looking for, right? Well, it's none of my business. Your dad always took good care of us. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Oh, what? Just hold still. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. Yeah, I, I know noticed. Up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, man. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Stabilizers and not loose. Okay, what about over here first, though? I am holding still. It's your old pulsing hands that are shaking. <laughs> this is not the time, Andy. Down here alone. It isn't safe, you know. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. Okay, so that was his doings. Okay, he's gone. What about this thing now? You need a lockpick skill of 50. That ain't gonna happen. Uh, actually, if we check our stats, what do we have for lockpick skills? 29. Nope, we're not even gonna come close, even if we throw on our other, uh, jumpsuit here. The utility jumpsuit. Try 
I imagine that there must be some, like... I don't believe you. I expect we'll be here for there must be some stuff in here that we could take, but maybe not. I've almost got it. I think I'd rather just stay broken than submit to any... Oh, what about the lockers? Nope. Oh, here we go. Toolbox, we got a paint gun and wonder glue. That is not going to be beneficial at all. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. This guy's super cool, Mr. Gomez. He just covered for us big time. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Oh, okay. We've got a Pip Boy light. Be careful! Wait, what? No! Whoa! Oh my god, I don't know where to go. Moving, moving, moving. Oh! Yeah, these things are the way to go. Or the baseball bat, definitely. With these rad roaches. Do I need this rad roach, Meech? Meech? Can't even read it. I'm gonna take it anyway. Might get desperate. Hard work is happy work. Yeah, it's a good logo slogan to live by. Me? This is not. How is that my fault? Okay, he's got a utility jumpsuit and reading glasses. Guess we could take the wrench. More glue. Ah! Thankfully, they don't do a lot of damage. Now, I don't see a way of actually getting in there to help that guy, so... Whoa! Are you serious? Oh, damn it. How did that just happen? He was hoping he just did the same thing. This is not gonna work out, is it? Oh! Can I just keep beating him with this thing? Your father betrayed us all! Oh my god, this is so bad! This is so bad. This is not good. Desperate times, desperate measures. I told you, I don't know anything. Be reasonable, Amata. Oh, uh -oh. Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find your friend so we can talk to him. He's my friend. I was worried about him. What does he have to do with any of this anyway? Probably nothing. Which is why you need to tell me where he is. So I can talk to him. One more time. You need to learn some respect. No, please, Is he gonna- Don't! That's enough, officer. Be reasonable, Amata. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find- I don't know if we should barge in there or not. Daddy, please stop. Don't you understand? I can't tell you. Why are you doing this to me? Amata, darling, why must you be so stubborn? The last thing I want is to see you hurt, but my duty to the vault comes first. Again. You'd better talk, girly. Please! Daddy, no! That's enough, officer. There he is! If he let me be oh, I can't talk this out? Imagine what let me do there, she's you. out. I'm taking her with me. Run, Amata! Oh god. Close oh. this! This is not good. Come on. Ha. 
What a disaster this is. And I can't queue up any of my, uh, VAT stuff here, so... For whatever reason... My god. This is like... We're just kind of slaughtering people left, right, and center. No! <laughs> Thank you! I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Okay. Well, at least I feel okay that we win. Oh, shit. Oh, we're in a dead end here, I think. Ooh, the overseer's office key. What? Where's his office? That's him and his daughter, I guess. Some bobby pins. We have a ton of jumpsuits. Hopefully, we can get rid of those at some point. I feel like maybe we can go back to his office. This is where they were interrogating her. Lock cell door. Not working. Okay. Take some stim packs. Actually. Get away. Oh, you. I'm not really too worried about him. Tons of weapon and ammo here. This is beautiful. He's here. Don't let him get away. There he is. Oh god. <laughs> He's called for backup. Here's the overseer's office. Jonas? Oh, a note from Dad. No way. We gotta move. We'll check out the note later. Overseer's terminal. Okay, some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. Okay. What the heck am I doing here? Uh... This makes no sense to me. <laughs> what am I even looking for here? Entry denied, 0 to 5 correct? What the hell? Two attempts left. What about... Trace? Oh, I see. Okay, we can actually select different words in here. And are we just guessing at the words? Oh god, now what? Now what? Can I... What do I do exactly? I think we got one try left. No, we got four attempts left. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Agile, we have lines, we have tires, brake, viper, saves, mines, baton, mines. Wait, 
Entry denied, one out of five correct. Oh, that means one of the letters is correct. Okay. Do we get to reset this every time? So, one of these is correct in mines and in mines, which could be any of the four that are matching. Okay, can I just leave every time and do this? Is that a, th is that a thing? I'm getting attacked. This is really crazy. So, okay. I'm assuming it's- there's an M- Oh, we got different words now, too. Does it reset every time? Slips, one of those is correct. What about chair? None of those. So it's not the I. I think I might be onto something here. Man, this is crazy. How are we supposed to get into this? I imagine that the higher our hacking skill, it means that we could probably see the words clearer or something. And then we have all of these other things, like, what? Okay, let's try deeds. Oh! Exact match. We did it. Okay, well that was a bit of a blunder, but we got through it. Security dossiers. Oh, we can read about all these people. Butch and his leather-clad delinquents accost Amato one more time. They'll have to teach... They'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. Their services have come in handy upon a... Oh, interesting. Uh, I must admit, but they're starting to f become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that on our next meeting. Beatrice. Joseph Vault 101 needs an absent-minded, sexually repressed sycophant. <laughs> Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably uh, for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. May at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. Jonas. I should never have assigned Jonas as James' assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor, who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. And Amada. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she just purses me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this vault what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, commitment, hard work. She does try and with a lot of guidance has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not the father that was cared for her alone since she was an infant. Okay. Scouting reports. What are these? Are these dates, I guess? As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity in the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated. Okay. Although the background radiation is still well above safe levels, pockets of more intense radiation appear to still be common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of Radex with us on our future surveys. So wait, people have been leaving? But hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless, the town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin, and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. What? We encountered a group of monstrous ants which appeared to confirm McKay's theory as a mutation due to extended exposure to radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to Vault C Exhibit A. The good news is that human civilization still survives despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton, C Exhibit B. Those inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. So wait, people are not- people are coming and going in this vault. This is not just everybody's being stuck in here like people are saying. So that's kind of surprising. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the capital wasteland as the area around Washington DC is now called. 
from them. Mega Ten is a fortified outpost of civilization of sorts, but it, it seems the giant ants are at the least of uh, the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey, plans in light of what we have learned. Um, Lewis and Agnes remain in Mega Ten to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. This is bizarre. And Palmer, survey team leader. So exhibit A is the the roach things, I guess. And exhibit B, this is Megaton, right? Vault Tech instructions, letter from Dr. Stanilus Braun. A letter to the overseer. If you're reading this, emergency vault internment procedures have been initiated and you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations. You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that any deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for termination by Vault Tech Corporation. Your vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GEC module. G-E-C-K. Please see attachment A for details. Okay. Vault 101 will not receive a GEC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the Overseal Sealed Orders. Okay, what's the GEC? Quite simply, the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by Vault Tech, a terraforming module capability of creating life from complete lifelessness. After riding out the storm of nuclear Armageddon in a Vault Tech patented vault, residents can then activate the Gek and create a new earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a Gek module. Yeah, that does seem pretty important. Open the tunnel. Okay, use the vault door. How do I... Oh, are you kidding? I'm getting shot out from outside. I'm gone. I'm gone. We're gone. Let's close this behind us. Oh, God. Have we done it? Where the hell are we now? Whoa. What is this? Hello. So not everything is as it seems. Requires a key. Vault door control pod. No way. Whoa, oh! She made it! You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. We did it. Yeah, but you helped too. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more no, than you do. No, come on! I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. No way. Oh, are you kidding? No! This is not good. Kill me before I can leave. I'm gonna be so disappointed. No! Your father be uh, us all. Uh, Bring it. Uh, you guys don't have the f any idea what's been happening here. I'm out. I'm not crazy. Hold it right there. I'm not going out there. I don't oh, you're scared. I know can I? The name of the here. I'm going. I think we're getting out of here, guys. I think we're getting out of here. This is- this looks promising. Oh, hello! Edit name, race sex, special. Edit tag skills. Oh! Oh, very cool. Very cool. This actually seems like a pretty good place to maybe, uh, take a break. And, uh, yeah. Wow, this is really wild. This is super cool. Okay, so, uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's talk for a little bit here, guys. First of all, um, there's some sketchy things happening. There's some very sketchy things happening inside this vault. Uh, people have been leaving, it seems. And people have been doing, like, these surveys, investigating other... Not civilizations, but uh, locations outside of the vault. So this is not just a simple case of everyone's really in here. There's, there's people doing things that are really sketchy. Um, yeah, really, really sketchy. So uh, let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, um, do you guys have any recommendations on these different things? I'm going to keep my name and my, um, my look and my gender all the same. But I'm thinking I might edit my special skills a bit here. So, uh, yeah. Also, guys, thanks for being here. This is super cool. I'm having a ton of fun. Um, for people probably wondering, like, am I looking at the chat? Uh, while I'm playing this game, I'm not because, uh, I don't want anything spoiled and I'm really trying to, like, pay attention to the story as much as I possibly can. So, uh, yeah. Let me, let me see what's going on. Regarding hacking, matches means exact locations of the letters in the words. Oh, okay. The matches are for exact locations, not just random uh, words. Uh, Mandekler, I think your name is. Um, what's my opinion? It's cool. I like it a lot. I like it. It's it's very... Um, I mean, we're very early stages, right? So, I don't know that a whole lot is has really happened, but we're learning a lot. Uh, high intelligence is good. Uh, no, I'm not wearing hearing aids. These are, uh, these are uh, in-ear, like, headphones. Let's see. Don't set anything to 10. Even intelligence? I mean, we have 9 as intelligence. I feel pretty good about that. Your tag skills are pretty good for a beginner, but I highly recommend investing in your small gun skills. Super important as you'll be using small weapons for majority of the game. That's interesting. Um, don't be afraid to kill people trying to kill you. Yeah, for sure. I could have just whipped out our gun, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should reserve the bullets. That was my thought process there is uh is just use the bat because we have it and then the bullets can kind of be used later on that's what i'm thinking a lot of people are saying luck i'm interested in why you say luck knight's camp actually these are new glasses they're almost i don't have my other ones here to show you they're almost exactly the same as my uh previous ones but they're like slightly different i'm not too adventurous when it comes to glasses uh, I'm just trying to keep up here. Basically, okay, I'm not going to put 10s. Everyone's pretty uh, pretty on board for not putting 10s. But I'm wondering, what are the ones that I could afford to drop? What are the ones that I'm not going to be using as much, you know? Because it seems like after this point, I'm not going to be able to actually change a lot. Luck helps everything. Use your gun, yeah, for sure. Gypsy saying, for background music, I'd recommend looking to radio stations once you get outside. They're fun and you learn information about the wasteland as you go. Okay. Luck controls everything having to do with chance. So, does that even mean like that speech thing that we had before where it was 55%? Would luck have probably improved that? Repair is a must-have if you don't want to buy new weapons all the time and it works like in wasteland. Okay. Okay. Stim packs are more valuable than bullets. Nine luck because you can get, a, you can be rich by gambling. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. I didn't know there was gambling involved. Perception is definitely less important. A lot of people are saying perception isn't as important. Um, but this is lock picking, right? Which to me means. Like, I want to be able to get into places. Oh, that's good advice, Magic, about the um, Pip-Boy radio for YouTube. I'm going to have to look into that. People are saying there's no gambling in Fallout 3. <laughs> okay. Great advice. Uh, let's see. Drop agility and perception... I think I'll drop these each one. What about endurance? Is this health, I'm guessing? Yeah, bonuses to health. Big gun and unarmed. What are the what are the ones for the the smaller guns? Agility. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll get my luck up a bit higher. Charisma seems good.
Hey, thanks, Gypsy, for subscribing. That's pretty cool. Gypsy Time Lady, 89. So I'm guessing by the 89 that you are roughly 25 years old. I'm just checking out all these suggestions. Hey, Casper Poland, I'm glad you enjoyed the Witcher Polish episode. That was pretty cool. Hacking tip. When hacking, picking garbage in closed brackets like dot 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 or the arrows will take away wrong passwords or refill chances. Okay. Some people say charisma is good. Some people say charisma is shit, but... Hold off on using skill books like Grognak. Huh, okay. So I will try to... Let me see, what am I gonna do? I think I'll stick with what we have right now. Intelligence at a 9, Charisma at a 6. Uh, I think we could leave... Yeah, I think we could just leave it like this, honestly. I could maybe drop strength a bit, but it affects how much we can carry, and that always scares me. Um, I wonder how much difference it is if I drop it by one in our carrying. I'm thinking maybe we go just leave it like it is. Keep intelligence at a nine, charisma at a six. We put one more into luck. Uh, small guns for agility is probably going to be pretty important. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's stick with this. I'll tell you what, uh, we're gonna take a bit of a break here, and, uh, when I come back, we should be able to leave. Our tag skills as well, I'm gonna leave for lockpick, science, and speech, I think. I kinda like that approach. Um, yeah, I like that approach. So, we'll take a break here, and, uh, we'll come back in five minutes, guys, and then we're gonna leave the vault, which is pretty intimidating. So, uh, yeah. Wish me luck, and we'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay. <laughs> 